guys, uh, this is Cole, the Fanatically Normal Climber, um, and I'm bringing you a second review of Evolve. Um, this is the Agro. I mentioned this before in the last video, um, but uh, I never actually went into it, so here we are. So let's start off with Fit, right off the bat. Um, Evolve recommends everything in your street shoe. I completely agree. Um, if you are nine and a half, get these in a nine and a half. If you're a ten and a half like me, get these in a ten and a half. Do not go any lower. You will be in searing pain. It doesn't matter how long you take to break them in, they will always hurt. It took me a month to break these in. Um, I stuck with it. I almost honestly got rid of them. I really did. But I said, you know what? I'm going to stick with these. That's what they say. By the end of a month, they were perfect. Um, like I said, I have a regular volume foot, which means sort of C width, um, lower profile heel, and it fits really well. Maybe if you have a higher volume foot, this might also fit, but if your foot's like really high volume, I would not recommend this. Um, I would definitely go, actually, I don't know much about high volume feet, so I, I can't say anything. Maybe the Batora Acro, I don't know. Um, but yeah, from my experience, I really like this shoe. Um, the month breaking period was excruciating. Um, couldn't wear them for more than a boulder problem at a session. I couldn't even, I mean, I couldn't even wear them on half a lead route. Um, but after the month was, month was up, these were awesome. Um, just like the Oracle, these are a good all around shoe. I definitely use them more for boulder problems, steep stuff, um, like Little River Canyon. I've also, so I climb at Stone Summit Atlanta on the weekdays, and they have, it, if you've ever seen Flat Tinger Cave, it looks like that, and it's 60 foot, 60 feet of just pure overhang. Um, 60 feet tall, I think the longest route in there is 80 feet, I mean it's crazy and it's all overhung. These really shine in there. Towing in on sort of small holds, bad smears, you know, when your feet cut, you get them back on. These really, these really shine there. Um, toe hooks. Look at this. This is all rubber. You can stick it anywhere and it will be good. Um, just like throw it on and it sticks. These are great for toe hooks or problems that require like sort of a messy, you know, foot slap or whatever. Um, these are great. Bicycles, crazy toe hooks, weird toe scum thingies. Love it. Um, let's also talk about the heel. So I've always struggled with finding no dead space in heels. When I use the aggro, there is zero dead space. Fit perfectly. Never had to worry about it popping off. Um, you know, like these. Uh, these are the Batora Acros. Um, what's really weird is you guys, I'm sure some of you have had the thing where like your your heel is your heel is in but there's like some dead space or whatever and it feels really weird to like get toe hook heel hooks because it's like there's this massive amount of just room in there that doesn't that doesn't really your foot's not there but you can feel it and it there's no dead space in this fits perfectly i don't feel like it's ever going to pop off even sometimes the straps get a little loose, never feel like it's going to pop off. Um, heels phenomenal. Um, it's synthetic, which means that when you get it in your size, you don't have to worry about it stretching. It'll break in well, um, like it did for me. I sweat in it, got really hot. They broke in, but they haven't stretched at all. They haven't blown out like any of my other, other leather shoes. Um, closure system is great. It's sort of a Velcro, Velcro system. Big beefy straps, big thing, and um, it's got this sort of adjustable thing. It took a little bit to get used to it. It's like this really weird adjustable thing. Um, but once you got the fit dialed in for that, you can just leave it as is and works really well. Um, let's talk a little bit about um, the midsole and the stiffness. So um, as stated in my last video of the Evolve Oracle, um, I mentioned that the Oracle has a midsole. Um, now, as I said, uh, the midsole, this is the split outsole. So this is the outsole. This is um, some people, you know, who I'm, you know who you are, refer to this section as a midsole. 
Um, and to quote those people, they say, oh, it's so soft in the midsole section. Well, no, yes, it's flexible. This is the split outsole. So you are able to sort of flex your foot, but the midsole is, beneath, is in between the upper and the outsole, which is this. Um, this is a split outsole versus, I don't actually think I have any full outsole shoes, but split outsole, but it has a midsole. Um, so a midsole, what, what, scar what, what evolved it is they did this thing called a thermoplastic midsole. Um, so you see it on the La Sportiva Solutions. Sneak peek, I'm going to be doing a review of these in a bit. Just got them today. Um, look out for that. Um, but what they do is they they create the last and they put a midsole under and they thermo they like heat up the midsole and it sort of stays in place so it retains that downturn. But unfortunately, when you do something like that, you do it does require a midsole and that puts more material between your toe, the upper, and your toe on the rock. Um, it decreases sensitivity, um, but it gives you. It gives you more power. It gives you more support on the toe. And when you mix that with their varial, thi varial thickness midsole, um, you get a stiffer shoe. You get a stiffer shoe. I mean, they say it's super sensitive. It's really not that sensitive. Um, if you really want sensitive shoe, go with the Scarpa Furia. Go with um, the La Sportiva Future. Go with the 510 team. But if you don't care a lot about sensitivity like I do, I mean, I can feel things. Um, but... You want downturn, you want support, go with these. Um, I use these on volumes as well. I just actually came from the Midtown Gym um, at Stone Summit. It's a lot of comps, so they had a lot of volumes, weird shit, weird foot shenanigans. I love these for that. Um, and yeah, I mean, truthfully, these are not an all-arounder. Um, they're really, really, they are made for hard boulder problems, um, steep climbs that sort of top out on a mild slab, um, and comp. Although, yeah, um, these are really kind of specialist. Uh, you use them for overhangs, hard problems, towing in, um, and yeah, I think that's it for the Evolve Agro. If you guys want to subscribe, click the bell notification, let me guys, let, let me know what you think, guys. Um, give this video a like, share it with your friends. I'd love to get out there, give me some more steam. Um, and yeah, I'll keep sh putting things out there. Let me know if you want anything else. Let me know if you want anything added in the review. Let me know if there's something you need to be changed. Um, I'm thinking about doing some maybe vlogging stuff where I go and take videos of my process of figuring boulder problems out. So yeah, just let me know what you guys want. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thanks.